It's, it's Wednesday the 25th and it's early in the morning and it's still dark outside and uh, I couldn't get back to sleep after a silly dream and uh, I dreamt I was a borrow and I fell off an easel and uh, I think I might be getting a little anxious about my forthcoming exhibition and uh, I have a one man show which opens on the 28th of March and I want this frame to be finished for that painting you've been looking at and um, I've been working flat out for weeks now on the other exhibits and I can do the break I think now and um, I think the tiredness opens the door for negativity to step in and that's why I'm out early I think and um, but I've almost finished 27 other pieces of work and, I, and I'll show you when we go to the gallery on the last episode okay and uh, the gallery it's called the Craft Renaissance Gallery and it's located in a in a place called Chain Bridge in Gwent in the beautiful countryside of that, our part of Wales you know it's not far it's up that way and the gallery is owned by a by a most lovely lady called Helen and uh, she's decided to show all my recent paintings throughout all her ex exhibition space for six weeks and I'm very flattered by that and um, I now feel a strong sense of responsibility towards her for having a confidence in my work for such a big commitment it's exciting stuff and uh, uh, well anyway let's get on I, we're making a frame now okay so um, I'll just show you this is my workshop here and uh, I got a crosscut saw over there a DeWalt crosscut saw but I gotta keep setting it up all the time and it's a nuisance you know so uh, I sure to do a mitre and it doesn't cost a fortune you know so instead of setting that up to cut the mitre I've made this thing here, so I'll walk around in a minute now, and um, I'll show it you. All it is is two planks of wood, screwed and glued together, and you can buy these things from car boot sales or off eBay. They're not expensive, but it won't cut a perfect mitre. So what you've got to do then, um, you need like a linishing wheel like that over there, and. Um, I won't show you, I won't show you the sort of piece of wood, you know. This is a piece that's nearly down the size that I've got here now. You know, so I'll, I'll just, for this machine, I put it on a motor, I, I took it off a grinding. I took it off an old grinder and it goes extremely quickly. And, um, it's a scary old machine to be honest with you, but you don't need, you need a motor on it really. Put a nice linishing wheel on it and you can just turn it with your hand. You know, so I'll, I'll just take the last half a millimetre off now, because... That saw cuts like almost to half a millimetre and just take the next bit off. So I'll just turn it on. This is, is a compound moulding. I'll show you the drawing how I'm going to do this. It's made up of uh, four different pieces like that and the canvas fits in there. Okay so that piece I'm just doing now is this piece here. This is the first one. So uh, measure your painting up neurotically and make sure it's absolutely right. Okay and what I did and I laid the painting down on the, on the bench face up and I marked the outsides with some masking tape just to get it roughly there first and uh, cut them out this and got them exactly to the right length okay and this is a trick I learned from some old carpenters you don't need fancy clamps all you need is these things it's just like a, a block of wood cut at a wedge like that with two holes in it which I screwed to the bench which I'll show you how to do now just screw it down Take a big fuss setting them all up and uh, you want it absolutely perfectly square. So that's just like a wedge and just pushes that in there then. And I make sure that that is um, a 
Let's get some glue on the corner first now. Okay. I've already set this up. I know it's I know it's pretty accurate. Fancy clamps needed. I've got to come around the other side now and I'll just do the other. So I know that's roughly there in a minute. So I'll just put some glue on that side there now. That's the first profile, shaped like that look, okay? So canvas fits inside that. So um, I'll take you through it a bit at a time soon. As we're going along with it, you'll see what I mean there. I just put a bit of masking tape on the corners like that. I hold it in place while I get it set up. And I push them in there like that. I slowly squash them together. Right now is an important job, is to measure it now from corner to corner. And that's a bit longer, so I've got to squash that one in a bit more. Like that. And let this one out. And let that one out. And measure it again. plus a little bit and that is absolutely within half a millimetre so if I just push that one down a bit more where you can get that millimetre where you can get him absolutely spot on there he goes same again plus a tiny bit Ah, can't get no better than that. Right, and I'll put these on now. I always put them face down, so the top of the... This is the back of the frame, so it's nice and flat. I know I've got a very flat bench, so these are just like corner clamps there, all the corners down. Like that. Okay. So just squash these in nice and firmly now. Make sure your mitre, there's a perfect mitre there. Can't get much better than that. We need it there now. Then I'll dry overnight. And I'll get on with finishing another painting. He's in. Okay. That keeps them nice and flat on the bench. I know my bench is flat. And uh This frame is three millimeters bigger than the canvas. To make sure you need a little bit of room, get the canvas clips in. So that's down there now. So I'm just going to check the size of it again to make absolutely sure that's actually spot on. So there we are. That's, that's that bit done. 